So you've been, well, let me see, you've been a member of this club for, you've been working here for how long? Um, it's now my second year. Actually, this is my second stint. I had my first stint back in 2016. 2016? Wait, 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 wait. First, let me welcome you and thank you to do it, for doing this podcast. Because I've been, I've, I'm trying to get almost everyone I come in contact with on the podcast. So I'm always really honored and thankful when someone says, that they'll do it. You know, someone who has, who's really good at what they do, like you are. When you um, work with us here, when I see you there, one of my assistants came up to me, she said, Mr. Lee, you should do all you can to make sure this guy gets promoted in this area. I said, I wish I could, but I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. So tell me, how long have you been working here? Okay, so during my second stint, it's my second year now. Mm -hmm. And then my first stint, I worked for a few months from June of 2016. Same, um, same area? Recreation? Same area, yes. Is so, that right? Exactly. So okay. during my first stint, so that was from June 2016 to February of 2017, mm -hmm. I used to work at both second floor and the fourth floor recreations desk. Okay. But when I came back, so like the second floor and fourth floor kind of split. So now I'm working at the second floor areas. Uh, so, you, so you've only worked in the new club? No, I don't think no, so. No, I said you only worked in this new club. Yes. You never worked in the club before that. Did your, bro did your brother work in the older club or was he only here? What year was he working? My brother was here from 2011 to okay, 2013. He, he was here when we first opened. He, yes, he was. When we first opened. So he didn't work in the temporary club either? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. So okay. both of us only worked at this club here. Okay. And you said now you're living with your brother and your mother? That's right. How long have you been in Japan? It's my fifth year now fifth in year? Japan. So I moved here uh, May 13th, 2016. All right. But you grew up in the Philippines. I did. Born and raised over there. Manila? Manila, yes. Okay. So you came over here at what age? How old were you when you came here? Um, I think I was around, I was around 20 years old when okay. I moved here, like a few days after I graduated from my university. Okay. And then I moved here. What did you study at your university? Uh, well, I majored in psychology. You majored in psychology. I did. Why? Why did you decide to go into psychology? You've always honestly, like, like during my senior year in high school, like, I haven't been planning that much for the for my university, and then like, I chose psychology like randomly as one of my, you know, choices for mm -hmm. the course, and mm -hmm. I'm just glad I passed and. Th <laughs> there I am. What else? What else? I, was it only that was your major? Yes. What was your minor? Did you have one? Um, no, I didn't. You didn't, okay. I didn't. What other subjects do you like? Was it just... Well, I used to like, you know, history, um, values education, mm -hmm. maybe a little, a little bit of science too. Mm. What about sports? Were you involved in any type of sports? I did. Um, I used to play basketball before. I did some swimming too and billiards. Okay. So what do you do now? Do you do any of those? Um, actually, I haven't done those recently and... I'd like to do it again, honestly. So what do you do to, to occupy your time then, throughout the day? Um, you tell me just watch TikTok. <laughs> well, oh, TikTok is a given. Like what? <laughs> given, okay, go Actually, on. yes, it is a given. And um, the days I'm not working, I'm actually doing live streaming. I stream like games. I do live on my Facebook page. But what type of, what type of games do you like? What kind of games do you play? Well, I, play, mm -hmm. I, I mostly play FPS games or first-person shooter games, as oh, really? they call it. I did that a couple of times. Let me see. And you can hear the other people on... You have other people playing, right? Exactly. And you can, they're actually real people. Real and people. And they have their avatars. They do. And you pick teams. Mm -hmm. And you play. Which one do you play? Which one do you play? Well, I played this game called Valorant. Um, I it's, think I that one. I it's it's a pretty it's pretty popular game. It's 
just started around last year, mm -hmm. but then I played some Call of Duty before too. Call of Duty, yes, that's the that's the famous one that everyone knows. Exactly. But Valiant, what can they do? The, what can they do in there? Can they can they fly? Yes, actually, some characters in the game they can fly. Some of them have like unique skill set. What do you mean, some of them? What about your character? Well, my character, like. My ca I use the character, like they have unique skill set too, like they can blind enemies, they can create walls, and like they can throw like like some fireballs to like okay. heal oneself. To, to kill some or heal? Um, actually, like if, you're, if I'm gonna use it on myself, it's gonna heal me, but if I use it on the enemies, it's going to kill so me. So how, how, long, how long do you see yourself playing these games sometimes? What's well, an average time do you think about? Well, like the average time, I would say three hours. Three hours. Sometimes I can go as far as five hours, maybe seven. And is it kind of relaxing for you? Do you feel tense afterwards? Um, it's it was it's relaxing actually. Like it's kind of like an escape from yeah. re re reality from me. Right. And you know, I'm glad I found this game. Met so many awesome people. Through the game. Through the game, exactly. No, but you don't see them in person, so you don't even know if they're really real, do you? That is the catch, like with this pandemic going on, like it could be anyone, right? It could it be anything. It could be anyone and anything. But <laughs> <laughs> when you say you meet them, because when you're playing the game, you get in different stages, and mm -hmm. you say, "Hey, Johnny," he says, "Yeah, yeah, how you doing, Ken?" And you guys know each other, and you remember, and you can talk about stuff that you did before. Yes. And you know his moves. You know what he's going to be able to do. What he's picked up. Exactly. That is interesting. But do you ever hope, do, can you, through that game, could you actually meet in person? Um, we could, but, you know, given this pandemic, you know, with all the quarantine guidelines in the Philippines, it's, even if I want to go there and meet them, like... Go where? Like, in the Philippines, because that's where most of my friends are. How, you know they're in the Philippines? Yes. I, how, how do you know that? Well, like... We've been like also we've been exchanging like friend requests on Facebook. Oh, do you speak to them in Tagalog? Yes, I so do. So then that's okay. So that's how you know. Exactly. All right. All right. Okay. I got you. <laughs> I got you. So you you verify it by the fact that if they don't speak Tagalog, then they may not be Filipino. Exactly. Or maybe they're like Filipino, but like you know they didn't grow up in the Philippines. Philippines, right? Like oh, I see. And you can also tell by the dialect about where they're from. I could, yes. Right, like if they're from Cebu, they're going to speak a different dialect than if they're from where you are, no, right? They're going to speak like a different dialect. Okay. Ah, oh, they're like in the States, we know someone's from the South. Right, right, Or if right. they're a New Yorker. Right, or they right. Come, Yes. Oh, that's interesting. But what's good is like we all speak the same language, so like language barrier, it's not an issue. You mean so everyone you're playing with is Filipino? Yes. So you guys talk in Tagalog? We do. So no one else can come in unless they're Filipino? <laughs> well, when there's someone like who's not Filipino, like we adjust, we speak in English so that you know they won't feel left out. Oh okay. really? Because I don't want like you know like solo queue players like queuing with us. I don't want them to feel left out. Mm -hmm. Like if I meet them for the first time and then they're then they're playing with us, I want them I want them to feel like you know they belong. I don't want them out of place. Mm -hmm. So whenever we play with like a non-Filipino friend, we speak English. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And that happens sometimes. It does. Do you ask them where they're from? I do. Yes. Actually, um, actually, I'm not. Not only I'm playing Valorant. I also play this game called Among Us. It's like a ten-player game. Basically, it's called Among Us. Among Us. Okay. Yes. Basically, the idea is there's like ten of you in a spaceship, and then like there's like two imposters. So the eight people are crewmates, and they have to identify who the imposter is. And, you know, like, one way of winning the game is, like, completing all these tasks that are assigned to you. Okay. But if the imposter, like, like kills, like, a lot of you, then basically you lost already. Who's, who's, what's the, what do you mean the imposter? You mean the computer-generated person? Um, no, it's also, like, it's also a person, like... A person who considers himself the imposter. He's taking that role. Yes. But the so and the, he wins by killing everybody. Exactly, he wins by killing everybody and like like sabotaging, like preventing the crewmates to do their tasks. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so you actually have so you can go. Could you go in as an imposter? Yes, actually, you can go as an imposter or as a crewmate randomly. So when like you're the imposter, like you're well, obviously you're not supposed to say you're the imposter, imposter right? Until like you know they figure out you are the imposter. So and then what do they do? They kill you. 
um, they don't like basically like if they found out you're the imposter, they like there's like a meeting that's mm-hmm. done, and then like they like say their suspicions, and then they make a vote, and once you get voted out, like you're out of the game already. Even if you're not the real imposter. Exactly. <laughs> so you can ruin yourself. Okay. So I'll basically, just... like you assume everyone is like an imposter. You assume that at the beginning. Yes. That's how you guys are learning your social skills, I guess. Like with this pandemic going on, yes. But even when the pandemic isn't going on, how do you do it? You still play the games. Yes, I do. But like there are times well, I go out, like I actually meet them. But where? Like when I was in the Philippines, I used to I used to hang out with my friends, you know. Do it on the games. Um, these these are like different games. Uh, I mean, friends. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Like these are like actual friends I met at the university because like the people I met in games like th- it was during this pandemic. I haven't seen them. I haven't even like met them for once. Mm-hmm. I haven't hung out with them, so it's like really different. So do you ever like? Why don't you exchange pictures? Um, we did actually like we. Ex- like as I mentioned earlier, so we exchanged like we exchanged our Facebook, we exchanged okay. Instagrams. Oh, so see. that's like one way we contact each other like, okay, when okay. we're not playing. So you know about each other's lives and what you might be doing because you post it up and stuff, but you just haven't physically met. We haven't physically met. That's I correct. See. I see. So you have some that you feel more um, in common with than others. Um. Uh, well, I. Well, there is there is like similarities because like most of us are at the same age. Most of us are working, and well, we love games, mm-hmm. and that's where we met. So that's that's a big avenue. What's this new thing that I saw? My son's had me get it where you put it on, and it's virtual realities. But you put it it's Oculus. 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 Do you have that? Actually, I don't, but I would like to try one of those. <laughs> like, I put that on, and I I bought one because my son came over. And my sons are gamers too. Not all of them, I think. No, hardly none. They play. Maybe two of them play or three. Okay. They play. And I put it on. They came over and I put it on and I put me in a different world because it's virtual realities and you're in there and you mark out your area and you have on these goggles. It's just, there's no earphones. It plays, it's like it's playing in your head. And I got in that and bought one, looked at it maybe two more times, too real for me. I mean, it's, it's why I like the, I rather do this and be in this world than that one because it's easy to get hooked. It, but really? it's not real. And, but you can buy things there, you can sell things there. You can, you can. You can do all the stuff you can do here, there. But why, when you can do it here? It's interesting. Actually, I, I don't understand the reason myself, but... Yeah, but you enjoy it. I do, actually. Right. I mean, I, don't, I don't, wouldn't say I disliked it. I got a little nauseous a couple of times when I made myself get in the ocean, or I stood on a big cliff, and I'm looking down, and I know I'm only on my floor, but it it's plays such a good trick on my head that it still makes me... My, my pulse raises, and I get nervous. That's... I don't know. It's just interesting. It's a whole other world. I'd actually like to try those one of these days. You like, haven't tried it yet. I haven't yet. And it's only getting better. I'll tell you the one I saw. So real is a shame. And they just keep on increasing it. You can go to a disco. You can go to a, a, a roller coaster. You can skydive. You can... You can... It's just... There's nothing that you... Like, you, like you can basically go everywhere. And so. you, move your, you move your arms. You walk around. But you, you know your barriers because you mark it out. So you're not going to run into a wall. But you could knock over something because it might be outside the barrier, whatever you set up. So tell me this. What kind of sports did you like when you were a kid? You told me you liked to do billiards and everything else. But when you were in high school and elementary, what did you really excel in? Or what did you enjoy? Well, not really excel, but I enjoyed playing basketball. Like when I was back in high school, I used to be part of our varsity team there. But limited exposure though, but I still enjoyed the sport regardless. What kind of hobbies did you take up? Do you have any hobbies outside of well, gaming? Well, outside of gaming, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I well I used to be in like military stuff before. Like back in high school, I used to watch this show called 
battle plan on History Channel before. It, it runs every Tuesday night. So I was in the Philippines back then. And because I played like, like online games featuring soldiers and stuff like that, I got hooked into military stuff. Okay. Once in my life. So. Did you ever think about joining the military? Um, I did, but in the end, like I realized it was, you know, kind of risky because sometimes, you know, they could send you like out there in the front lines, or like they can just like station you like at home. But we were occupied by Spain, Spain, okay, United okay. States, and then Japan, and then Japan, okay, yes, right, and now just the Philippines, just the Philippines, independent, yes. So you have your own army? Yes, we do. Okay. Is it's not mandatory? No, it's not. Um, it's actually optional. Like some college students, they do this ROTC program. Right. Yeah, that, right. The others just do like the like the community you know type of program, which I did mm -hmm. when I was in university. It's not like in Korea where it's mandatory. In the Philippines, it's optional. It's optional. At age it, what? Um. I'm not sure about the age, but I would say around ages of 18. Okay. So. And what is it? What do you have? Do you have the Navy, the Army? Do you have Marines? Yes, we do. Oh, you have all that? And then there's Air, Air Force, Force and Air then Force Coast, Coast Guard. And Coast too. Guard. Yes. Oh, so you have the same thing the U.S. has. Yes. Exactly the same. Very, very the same. Wow. Then you could, yeah. So you, you thought about it, but didn't think about it. You said, yes, but no, thank you. Where, would they, where would they send you? The Philippines isn't in war with any. Oh, yes, there are. There is, like in Mindanao, like yes. the island over there, it's where most of the conflict happens. Against the um, insurgency. The insurgency, the right. yes, yes. Because they're trying to control, they control that island, don't they? They do. Wow, how many? That's one of the 3,000 islands, I think, of the Philippines? Yes. Wow. Actually, actually, not only 3,000, it's like 7,000 plus. 7,000 plus. <laughs> how many? Have you been to many of them or any of them? I only stayed in Manila. Well, I have been to some, but mostly it's like up north. I haven't yeah. been to like the southern. Well, I have been like in Puerto Galera, but I was very young back then, so right. I, I didn't have that much of a recollection. Do you know about how many of them have people on them, or do all of them have people on them? Um, actually, okay. I would say most of them, there's like people living. I'm not sure about the others, but most yeah. of them, yeah. You've heard that there's always someone on there. Yes. And they have the community, a little community or whatever. They do. But what about modernization? Are they some of them really far back and don't, you know, mm, some really? of them are really far back. Well, they're really just out, it's really tropical and they barely have anything. Okay. They're, they're living off of just whatever they can get there. You've heard that's the case? Yes. That's interesting. What about dialect and language? Is it, have you heard the people there, do they speak in a, a language that people can understand on the main island? Well, yes, like there are some people like speaking in like certain dialects, like even I don't understand. Only they would know. Only they would They've know. Made it. It'd be, I guess something similar to some of the island, the Virgin Islands, where it's in English, but it's such a mixture that it's its own dialect. Yeah, that's interesting. So what did you, did you ever, you learned to swim? Did you learn to swim? I did, yes. You learned to swim? Did you ever ice skate? Ice skate, no, I haven't. Ro but I mean, what about roller skating, I mean? Roller skating, no, I haven't, but I'd actually like to do it. The reason why I asked, because I remember when I used to go to Manila, in the center section of the city or something, they had a big circular area, and right. we used to roller skate around there. Right, right, right. They still do that? I don't think so. I, I don't we used to so. roller skate, this is in the 70s. Oh. The late 70s and 80s, we used to roll a rink around there. In the, almost any time, because it was always so warm. And everybody would roll a skate in a circle around there. I can't remember. But I know it was in Manila. And some big area you could go to, and it was nice. Actually, like some of our malls there, there's like some ice skating rinks. Like, I think, I'm not sure if every mall, but most malls in the Philippines, they do have. But I wish I should have tried when I was there. You ever travel outside of here in J Japan and the Philippines? Have you been anywhere else? Um, actually, no. I've have it, I have been to Philippines and Japan only. Mm -hmm. But well, technically, I've been to like Korea and Taiwan. But you stopped there. You mean stopovers? Okay. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> exactly. What did you want to come to Japan? What caused you to come here? Just because your mother wanted to come, or you? Well, it's kind of like you know exploring my Japanese identity too. What do you mean? Your father's Japanese? My father's Japanese. 
Okay, is he, he you said your mother and your, your, he passed, or is he alive? Or? Um, I'm afraid he passed already. Oh, did he? He did. How old were you when he passed? Well, I was, I was 25. Okay. I was 25. When were you I, close with him? I was. Okay. So you're part Japanese, part Filipino. Do you speak Japanese? A li- I speak a little bit, Okay. but I'd say my Japanese is still in the works. Okay. What about your mother? Did she get better? Is she better? Or? Actually, my mother, she doesn't. At all? Yes. Like, okay. Well, she speaks some words, but she couldn't like formulate a complete sentence. Okay. Your brother? My brother, he, is, he He's speaks. Good. He's, He's good. good. He's good. All right. So what, so what brought you here? Your mother? She just decided to bring you or? Yes, and it's also like, you know, an opportunity for me to explore mm-hmm. Japan. So Did you, s- you said you have a sister too, right? I do, yes. I've been missing this. She's, you're the youngest of three. I am. And your sister, she's here? No, she's in the Philippines. Philippines. How old is she? My sister is um, 37. Is she, have, she married and have kids or anything? Or? Well, not married, but she has one kid. Okay, so you're an uncle. I <laughs> so does she have a little girl or a boy? It's a little girl. So you have a little niece? Yes. Have you seen her yet? I have actually like at some point like we used to live together like until hmm, until she turned like until she turned three years old. So is that right? Yes. How old is she now? Your little she's, niece? she's eight years old now. Eight years now. And you're close with her and you how do you feel to be an uncle? <laughs> um I'm not sure if I'm correct for saying this, but I kind of feel like old, but I feel happy, you know, to be an uncle. Yeah, like, so, especially like someone calling me uncle, like it just sounds so cool. Who's she call you? How she say it in Philippines? Well, they they say uncle? Yeah, they say they say uncle. uncle. Quite friendly. Because I find in the Philippines the people are very they're touchy. They love to hug. Everyone loves to sing. They don't care. If <laughs> if you yeah. can, can hold a note or not, yes. But there's so many people that are so good. The talent there, I mean, in the in the in the music industry, is really talented. The people that can play, play music and sing it, that's so good. And they really get the recognition. Bruno Mars hasn't hurt anyone, you know. I mean, that's yeah. <laughs> quite a bit. He's really good. So, what are some of your which like what kind of music do you like? Well, I mostly listen to like rock music. I listen to some classics too like 70s, 80s. Yes, I do listen to those too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And movies, what kind of movies do you like? Movies, I watch action movies. I watch some comedy, some maybe romantic comedy too. And I'm, I, well, I watch cartoons too. So. so do I. I'm not ashamed either. But I do that because I work with kids. Well, I shouldn't say do that. I've always enjoyed cartoons because I've always thought they're made by adults. Mm. So I mean, come on. But there's some really interesting aspects of it. I think that's probably why Avatar broke every record that's out there, because it's like a cartoon, but it just happens to look more human than anything else. But it's with virtual reality type creatures, all computer generated. It's really a marvelous. You know, Avatar 2 is coming out in 2022. Oh, wow. Yeah. I haven't seen the previews yet, but Avatar 2 is supposed to come out in 2022. And I think they're going to continue that series. I know there's, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a trilogy, but I think it's going to be more than just that. The same characters, I just saw something about it recently. They're going to have Jake, Sully, and then... Right, right. The other one, yes. And I think that the guy that died, this is a spoiler, but the guy, <laughs> the cat, the guy that was killed, the, the, the head Marine or whatever, right, right. he's going to come back. Oh. Sully's coming back, and she died, but they're going to be back in it. I don't know gonna if they're going to come back as memories or whatever, but they're back. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be quite... And so is the guy that... The little guy that controlled everything. The one that was supposed to be the boss of all the stuff for the corporation. He's back somehow or another. That's what they've said. I just saw that on IMDb. I actually haven't seen that film for, like for a while and it's actually shocking. Like a, like a second part is coming out after, it's going to come out after all these years. Yes, yes. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So tell me, what do you fill your days with outside of work here? Well... In gaming. Well, aside from gaming, like, of course, I sometimes go out to explore, like, you know, well, not explore, like, what Tokyo has to offer, because I mostly go to Tokyo on my days off, or sometimes I just go to, like, nearby malls. Because you live where? Where do you live? I actually live in Kawasaki. Kawasaki, okay. That's right, that's right, next door. 
Yeah. Like I go to places like Tama Plaza, which is like very close from my house. And then there's another place called the uh, Minami Machida, Grand Berry Park. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you've heard of it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice place, like big malls, so much, you know, like stores for clothes. And then there's like dining areas too, which is very nice. You go there by, with your family or just? Mostly I go there with my family. Okay. But then there are times like I go out by myself too. Mm -hmm. Do you have a car or do you uh, ride a motorcycle? Or? I don't. I take the train. Okay. Do you have your license? Um, unfortunately, I don't. Do you want to get it? Are you going to get it? I want yeah. it, I want to get one. So. Yeah. Your brother, does he drive or does your mother drive? Does anyone have their license? Well, they do, but they don't have their license here. Like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you see for yourself in the future? You're, what, you're 28? I'm 26. 26. So what do you see for the foreseeable future? What did I think when I was 26? I know, I remember, yeah. Like for me, I would, you know, I, I would like to see myself, you know, being like in the gaming industry, like maybe even becoming part of an esports team, as they call it. They make money, don't they? They do. From just gaming? Yes. What, is it through sponsors? And then there's their sponsorships too. And then like another way they get money, like if their viewers like send them this type of I don't know how you call it but it's like once once the viewers send it like you know the gamers like receive basically money okay just so it's like a stream. donation just for like a, yes exactly a donation right. yes. a donation they like they like which the way you play so much they want to make sure you can continue to do it yes oh exactly. that's interesting so you have so you know some of the big gamers out there well I do there's gamers like tens like Sabrosa, like are they Filipinos? They're not, unfortunately. Are there any Filipino gamers that are making big money? They're well, I wouldn't say really big money, but I know like you know some Filipino gamers who made it big into the gaming industry. Gamers like um, G N Sanity is like a best example. Like he's a streamer, and then like he's part of an esports team too. So it's what. what so they it? they have a couple of esports teams set up, and they compete against each other. So That's like they might do, what was it called, Call of Duty? Yes. And they'll play, and how long does the game last? I mean, is it like, could it be a couple of days or is it just hours? Um, I would say it's just hours. Like they would normally play for like three rounds, I think. Mm -hmm. And then that's, then, then they decide like who's gonna win, you know, by who's performing the best. And they have a, a pot, I guess, of how much you can win. Whoever wins gets that money? I would say so, yes. Is there something I, like that? Yeah. So you want to do that? So you see, you see that for the foreseeable future. So what do you mean? Another three years, four years, five years? How long do you think it's going to be before? It's going to be a long shot. Um, I couldn't say like, like how many years, but I'll do my best to get there. Okay, and then after that? Well, after that, like, at some point in my life, I always wanted to go back to the Philippines. Okay, and what would you do there? Well, I'd probably continue my gaming career over there. Mm -hmm. Like, gaming is also like a big thing right. in the Philippines. Like, okay, but what about social? I mean, you ever think about maybe being a daddy instead of just an uncle? Um, <laughs> yes, I do. I'm I'm thinking about it, but I'm not like going into it that mm -hmm. much yet mm -hmm. because I'm still, you know, trying to build my future ahead of me, and right. I want to make sure I give my children and my family a future too. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to provide for them okay. since I'm going to be like the man of the house. Oh, so what, okay. So I'm going to get into your head a little bit right now. How much do you think you're going to need to be able to? What amount of money? Let's just be straight. Mm. If you had it, you say, okay, now I'm ready to start getting married or get to get married. How much money do you think it would be? Um, in Philippine money, I would say like. Tell me in dollars, so I know what you're talking about. Well, in dollars, um, let me see. This may be this may be too much, but maybe five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, you mean it? So if you had that without any liens on it, you have that money there, and you're still doing your job and stuff, then you say, okay, now, I'm not too concerned about my family. Okay, 500,000, half a million. Yes, All right, half a million. That's interesting. Okay, so everyone heard that. I hope all these women out there that are looking at <laughs> you heard that, so once he gets that amount, you'll know what he has. 
and you'll know that he's ready to take good care of you and the kids you're going to have. <laughs> how, many, how many kids do you think you want to have? Do you know? Well, I'd, I'd like to have as many as three kids. Because huh? you come from a family of three. Isn't that interesting? We tend to want to have the amount of kids we grew up with, especially if we grew up and we liked the way we grew up. Right? So you probably want to have two boys and a girl. Uh, that, that works for me too. So <laughs> <laughs> That definitely works. <laughs> All right. Because I wanted to have, I actually wanted to have, I thought, I, to be honest, I wanted two girls and then two boys, or two boys, two girls, or either four girls. When you know the universe said, hey, I think the girls we can do without right now, you need boys. You need <laughs> four, give me four fantastic boys. I'm really happy with them. But it doesn't allow me to show that tender side as much as I'd like to. That's good. Okay, so do you, would you, you so you said that for future, anything you'd like to end with before we end this podcast? Well, first and foremost, I just wanted to say my thanks again for, you know, being a part of this interview. It's such an honor and I'm not gonna lie, I felt nervous about this, but the excitement is like, it outweighed the nervousness since I'm interviewed by a person like you, Mr. Lee, a person of great honor and great caliber, you know. Oh, thank you so much, Ken. Man, you give me goosebumps. Man. <laughs> Shoot. Thank you, Ken. Mr. Lee, it's it's a pleasure too. Thank, thank you, you so much. So much. Thank you. You're very welcome. I want to thank all of you for watching this podcast. Make sure you press like, subscribe, and never forget, it's all unknown. Continue to reach for the stars and never forget you're too blessed to be stressed. Thank <laughs> you.